Cower went to call on the president and said, Mr. President, you're not being honest with the American people. Because trying to talk about this program based on one year's of expenditures, when you just sit down and play with the numbers, it's going to grow exponentially to be an enormous amount of money. And, and Lyndon Johnson said to Ch John Tower, sit down and shut up. American people aren't smart enough to understand how much it's really going to cost. Right. And I suspect that yeah. that's what's going on like today. Know. I think that's what's going on today, is that the Medicare for all and free, along with free college and everything else, uh, the American people are being hoodwinked. And when the Republicans try and talk about how much it really is going to cost, $32 trillion, where is it going to come from? Elizabeth Warren, we'll just take a couple of pennies from all the rich people. Well, it's it's not true. Mm -hmm. But but there there is it doesn't seem to be as strong a voice on the opposition side as there are on the on the part of all the other stuff that's going on. Well, yeah. people are are going to listen to somebody that's going to give them something. But that's in my book Government Taketh Away. Uh, you'll find that government ha giveth, but when they can't pay the bills, they take it away. And over the years, the, the elderly have been underfunded in the Medicare program by $3 trillion. They were, they were denying claims on people that clearly should have 100 days of coverage when they come out of a hospital, and they were denying claims over 20 days. I, I spent 20 years of my... Uh, professional life along with my son uh, uh, developing software so we could defend and win uh, these these denials because they were saying that these people were not the, that the coverage wasn't medically necessary well if they had been in the hospital they had three or four diagnoses they had a lot of problems we were trying to to restore them physically mentally and try to get them back with their family before they burn all their money and then called spin down, and, and they were put on Medicaid. 75% of the patients in, in nursing homes are on Medicaid. It's because we turned them into uh, wards of the state. And, and that is one of the worst things that was ever conceived, because the family doesn't have any responsibility, but all the taxpayers are paying, paying the bills. Mostly the young people will pay the bills under any kind of, national health insurance it, it will be spread to the younger uh, people who themselves are not very healthy right so I, my, my my position on this in terms of a third party was to try to um, uh, privatize now, the, you know for example uh, we're being told that that social security and uh, medicare are entitlements they're not entitlements and those are trust funds. Those are to be protected, not borrowed from to fight wars or, or with treasury notes. You know, I mean, not only are we cooking the books, we're lying, lying to the, the beneficiaries of these programs. And that's where they take us away. You know, they start uh, peeling away and calling them entitled. the entitlements. The entitlements are the new ones. They're unemployment, minimum wage, uh, food stamps, the giveaways. Those are the new entitlements. Those are the ones that have to be looked at and probably try to turn those into productive jobs. Because instead of lawmakers, we need job makers. We do not need these people passing 40,000 laws a year and taking away the freedoms of the, of the enter, enterprising and entrepreneurial spirit of this country. It's, it's crazy. We're, gonna, we're going to destroy the, the very thing that, that that, that, that is the golden egg. So, you know, I, I, I would agree with what your, your position is, is that we cannot nationalize anything. Everything needs to be as, as, as much as possible at the local enterprise level. You look around, small business carries the country. And, and whose voices are heard? Big business, uh, the wealthy. Uh, you, you know, they don't pay all the bills. So there needs to be some kind of representation. And, yes, it would take a while. It would take decades to break the, the gridlock. But it, it eventually will have to happen. 
because this is growing together. It hasn't grown apart in terms of the red and the blue. They, they have one thing in mind, re-election and keeping control of all the money. Right. And uh, the American Enterprise Party stands for enterprising Americans. And in Europe, they have a third party. They have representation for, and I'm not talking about uh, labor. I'm, I'm talking about people that, that go to their jobs every every day and don't have pensions. My nursing home employees, we didn't have pensions. We couldn't afford pensions. We couldn't afford health care. It's so sad that small business right now, 40% of their cost is, is uh, government overhead. You know, and you can't even run your business and, and, and create uh, and innovate. I mean, the surveyors in the nursing homes, they come in, they tell you how to wipe the butts from the left to the right, not the right to the left. And, and it's and it's complete dominance. Uh, you know, it's like Nazi Germany. They come in and scare the hell out of everyone and then blame blame the, the provider for everything. So we, we were forced out of business. You can read now, that in, um, my, in my now I government. IQ, uh, IQ Alrizola, you've been listening to Jerry and Dan here. Uh, what, what do you make of all this? Let's bring you into the conversation. IQ, can you hear us? Yes, yes. Uh, well, well, what do you make of all this? Honestly, it's very depressing to hear. The gentleman is right. This two-party system at the moment, well, has been for quite a while. The last 20, 30 years has been failing. Because, as the gentleman said, all they want is to be elected so they can rob the American people. The sickening part is every single one of them, they speak about the American people while they're raping the American people. It's yes. Sickening. Look, everything is happening now, not because of Trump, not at all, because of the Democrats. I was reading articles only, I mean, I'm not digressing, but just adding to it. The filth in Los Angeles, the depravities that are happening in the main roads and streets in, in, in California, and they're not dealing with it. And the governor is more interested in illegal immigration being allowed, in abortion being allowed, than in taking care of the sanity, sanitation of the state. It's, it's collapsing. I mean, things are happening in America. That should only happen in a third-rate country, but it's happening. I don't know what the solution is, honestly. But the gentleman is right. If he can do it, who is going to lead this party? Any idea? Any idea, sir? Uh, well, the, the American Enterprise Party would have to find, you know, and, and I'm approaching 80 years old. I've had... I'm, I'm, I've been married for 60 years. I have a great family. Uh, I don't, uh, you know, obviously I'm not a politician or I wouldn't come up with this harebrained idea, but we have to find someone that is a true patriot. We don't have patriotism in this country anymore. The social media network, there isn't a, any, any patriotism uh, that, that, that we can find in that media. Uh, you know, God knows what's being pushed in the heads of our children who are on social media all the time. But I, I would propose that we find not just one, but a, a number of people that are, are feeling that they, they've been left out, they've been left behind. Because this system is not, it's not representing uh, the majority of the people. And I, and I think that's what democracy was about, was the majority of the people. And, and we have polarization just to keep us quiet. The longer they can keep us uninformed, and they're told when, when by consultants, do not try to educate the uh, electorate. They're too stupid to understand. Well, the, 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 the point, the problem is, or the point is, is they don't want us to know how bad it is. You know, we go to the stores and it looks great. America is, is, is the consumer of the world. We're carrying the whole damn world through consumerism. So the hell with the socialism or capitalism, it's really consumerism. And who supports the consumers? Enterprise. And who created the enterprises? Enterprising Americans. 
you know, so we're talking the grassroots of this country, and it's it, and it's failing, it's failing us, and somehow, some way, we have to bring this to the national um, pulpit because I don't have a pulpit, and I'm barely able to get on a podcast, and I was wanting to start my own or whatever. And in the book, or my books, I had written 17 books, it is all about the human being. And freedom, yes, but, but representation is, 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 the, is the problem. We don't have it. And, and I call it the red, the red and the blue and the, and the flag, but the white stars, and it isn't the color of our skin, no way, isn't represented. We have, we have a need for three parties. And until we get that, we will get nothing uh, other than uh, what I call a monopsony. It's where government is the purchaser of last resort. And I've heard that, that speech by bureaucrats, is that they are the purchaser of last resort. That is an oligarchy. It is no longer democracy. So I don't know who that's going to be. But it needs to be. Uh, we need to. We need to have leadership that that goes that way. And it's not the, you know, it's it's not the usual third party. I went back and looked at the history of third parties. In my book, I have a platform. I have an organizational structure. The only thing that's missing are members, and it was meant to elicit that. And it's, the whole concept started in 1991 when Gingrich and Dole failed to, to implement the contract with America, which sounded great, and it didn't happen. And this is not a, a partisan uh, problem. It is an American problem, is that we are not getting people in the positions of leadership who will level with us. They're keeping us... I don't want to say we're keeping us dumb and uh, I don't know what the other alternative is, but um, they, uh, 1991. And so I started thinking about how can we, how can we implement that contract with America, but, but make it happen. And I have websites, I have uh, videos, I have all kinds of things that really support the need and in principle, at least, how to do that. But it all comes back to who's going to do it. So if you Dan, want to get involved... Dan, are you up to it? Then. Am I up to asking one last question? Yes, I'm up to asking. No, I'm going to run. <laughs> I'm, I'm 74. I'm not quite as old as our guest, but I'm, I'm chasing him. I... I, I I, I listen to what you're saying, and, and I admire your your thoughtfulness, your intellect, your your desire to want to do something. But I don't think a lot of people in this country care anymore. I don't. Th when we have the left of the Democratic Party that's talking about socialism. And spending thirty, forty, fifty trillion dollars, which we obviously don't have, but that the American people seem to be, in some small degree, initially, uh, warming up to the idea of spending thirty trillion dollars on global warming uh, to to provide free college and 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 free health care. Um, we. I think as a country, we've lost our work ethic. We expect that Absolutely. the government's supposed to take care of us. And I really don't, I don't know what it will be that makes what you say happen. Because I can't see that there's a ground, will ever be a groundswell of movement within the country to give up all the freebies that we have. And I think that the, go ahead. I'm sorry, and then I'll answer. No, you finish. You finish. Go ahead. No, I think I think what's going to happen is we're not going to pay our bills to China. We're not going to pay our bills to to Japan, to Mexico, 
the, 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 the balance of imbalance of trade is, is put us in a position along with uh, promising pensions.